this my job? Is this real life? Is this real life? Train arriving. Please stand clear. It's so pretty today. Yeah, I can barely see the air. another video and today we're vlogging whether you're new or true please don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are going to Costa Rica today and I am so elated I have had a chaotic morning hence us getting ready on the plane or starting this vlog on the plane but you guys gotta be a good trip we're on a 737 today but it's the, the updated version with the new bins and the nice seats and so I'm gonna go ahead and meet my crew. I already did my pre-flights. Where our first stop is to Houston. We have three hour, 40 minute sit, and then we're going to Costa Rica. So I'll bring you guys along for the day. I hope you're excited. Don't forget yeah. to join the family. Um, I'll see you guys in a minute. I made it to Houston. Easy breezy. One leg, two hours, one minute. Made it to the gate. It's so humid. But um, we just finished deep planning, waiting on my crew, and we're gonna go take a rest because we have over three hours sit. So I'll see you guys in the crew room. <laughs> guys, we made it to the crew room, and I ran into a savvy, aka my coworker, and his name is Dakari. Hi, That's everyone. Where we focus. How cute are you? Good. How long Good. have you been flying? Ooh, a little over a year. <laughs> a mm -hmm. year? I'm a newbie. Where I'm are you based? Here. San Francisco. We love it. I do like it. Do we love like to it. see it, y'all. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in Phoenix actually commute from, or a lot of people based in San Fran pick up out of base in Phoenix because they live there. But how's the international? Do you get, are you on reserve? I am reserve, but your boy has been to Paris, Beijing, China twice, and Tahiti. Put some respect on his name. Mm -hmm. Tahiti's are what, five days? Uh, four day. Okay, is it so bad? How do you like it? I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's enough time to go jet skiing, go to Morea, you can do all the things. It's fun. It's expensive though, so just be ready. Have Not the coins. The possibilities are coining. endless. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I'm jealous, honestly. Y'all know how I've been talking about Phoenix not being all that jazz, but um, can you see us? I'm going to Costa Rica today, so. I was having a TED talk at the couch. This feels like, like a, a session. Welcome to the TED talk at our airline. Who wants to be a flight attendant today? Mm. America's next top flight attendant. Next top flight attendant. Mm. We love to see. I just wanted to introduce y'all to Dakari. I can't believe you're first year. Yeah, you're one. One and nine, babe. It's gonna fly by so fast. Oh, this year went by so quick, so quick. So if you're a flight attendant there and you're on probation. Don't blink. It'll yeah. be over. It will be over. <laughs> so fast. And if you can make it through your first year, you can make it 10, 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Trust me, because your girl survived her first year. And those <laughs> Newark streets, and it was brutal. And you guys are even getting paid more than what we started, even though we all deserve a raise. Yes. Hands up in the comments if we deserve yes. a raise. Hi. Guys. We made it downstairs to a place called Gordon Galley. Gordon's Galley in IAH. What's your name, babe? Katya. Katya is a new hire. And my new friend that I introduced you guys to earlier. <laughs> Not you coming in with the segue. <laughs> Hello. He just brought us down here to show us the ropes. So I haven't been down here, I think, maybe once. Probably my first year flying. Anyway, no small talk. They got food. These look actually really yummy. Is that pecan pie, y'all? What is this? Oh, tres leche. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I want it. Anyway, I'm about to- It's milky too, it doesn't look all dry. I'm about to go to Costa Rica, I don't need to get it. Anyway, they got food, snacks. I don't want to show anybody who does want to eat things, but we're gonna get some food because your girl's starving. And like y'all know, I didn't pack a lunch today because we're going to Costa Rica, I didn't want them to throw my food away. And I know it's getting loud in here, so I'll show y'all whatever I get. The excitement for this video is supposed to be building up about Costa Rica. The whole time I'm excited about food. Look how fresh these fries are and they season them. 
Oh. Can I show them your food? Oh. What's your name? Hey, you yo. Be on? Okay, sorry. I'm Bernard, I don't know who I'm talking to, <laughs> but we are living our best life right now. Yes. How they get enough food on. Yes, look at this, y'all. Giving you barbecue realness. If y'all like Southern food, I know some of y'all are vegetarian like me, but you know what? <laughs> I pay respect for his boo. And Gordon Scally has barbecue. What the heck? So it looks amazing. Uh, look at our fearless leader. Uh oh. Y'all, they got a TV and everything down here. Anyway, we're about to eat the salad and these fries. And then I still have two hours more to sit. So I'll check in with y'all when I can. I'm so excited. Guys, look how pretty this is. I feel like I'm in Asia somewhere. My little lanterns. Anyway, I just made it to the E gates. There's a lot going on in the Houston airport today. I just seen somebody cussing somebody out. And I said, Lord, let me get away from here. Anyway, I just left all my new hire friends and they were just so sweet. If y'all are watching this video, I just love y'all. Thank you for enlightening me and reminding me why I took this job and why it's so beautiful and how much can really become of you if you can last that first year. So we're off to our gate. E17, I think. And, um, yeah, I still got two hours of sit time, so uh, I'm gonna figure out how to kill this time. <laughs> and then I will see you guys once it's time to go to Costa Rica. Nothing can do my light. I'm so sad that we are delayed for an hour, but as long as we go, I'm happy. Okay? As long as we go. I'm out of breath. I'll see y'all in a bit. You guys, I'm so sad. We're still here in Houston, but I got a matcha lemonade to pick me up. We have been delayed almost two more hours going to Costa Rica. They did an aircraft swap, and so me and my crew are sitting here at the gate, and we were supposed to get there at like 7.30. Now we probably won't get there until about 10 p.m. 10.30 if we're lucky. So, oh, I'm trying not to cry. This is why I need therapy, to manage work stress and to help myself stay calm in situations that honestly can be very frustrating. This is also why we need a new contract so that we don't have so much ground sit time and not getting paid. But that is a discussion for another day. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I'm keeping hope alive, hoping that we still make it to Costa Rica. but. My little joy is dwindling, but either way, we move. Hopefully, the next time you guys see me, we are on our way to Costa Rica. Also, I didn't vlog it, but I recently went on a little fun day. What am I trying to say? Not like a vacation, but like just a little getaway to DC. And I bought this book at this place called Bus Boys and Poets. And it is the sequel, if you will, to Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. And that was such a good book, so I'm hoping this one is just as good. We shall see. So I'm gonna read my book and relax, and then fingers crossed we're on our way to Costa Rica the next time I see. And I'm not in tears. <laughs> you say you guys have the same birthday. Who does? You and the captain. April second. <laughs> you guys. Look who made it to Costa Rica. On my flight, she was so precious. Me and my new abuelita. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I was trying to talk Spanish the best I could. We just kept busting out in laughter because we were both trying so hard to understand each other. Um, and I also met a family that has immigrated to Costa Rica. And I just thought that was so fascinating. And she was so nice. She was vegan. And she said she would give me all the deeds on moving abroad. So I might reach out. Anyway, we're getting ready to go through customs. <sighs> I don't want any problems. So I'll check in with y'all. Woo! I'll check in with y'all soon. I'm trying not to fall off the escalator because I definitely dropped my bags before. Anyway, 
see you guys soon. Let's do a little tour, shall we? This is, honey, I'm giving living room, living quarters, a little tea station. Well, y'all know it's coffee station, but it's tea for me. Cute little painting, full length mirror. These pillows are adorbs. Um, I'm sure this is a little, oh, okay. Is that a, there's a little market over there. I could take a little walk, okay. Back to the room tour, sorry. Then we've entered the room. When I say it's nice and air conditioned, it is lovely. We got a desk, a little seating area, a closet, another full length mirror. Okay, let's talk about this TV because it's ginormous. And then we got a king size bed. Do y'all see that time blinking over there? Yeah, it's 12.15. What the heck? We're supposed to be here at 7.30, child. Um, all right, oh, I love this little bamboo tissue holder, honey. Where can I, oh, it doesn't have it. That's cute. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh no. Oh, you guys. I posted on Twitter and I said, Every time I leave the country, I just feel so alive, and it is such a breath of fresh air. Like, Costa Rica, thank you. Even though I'm only here for 12 hours, I will take it. This layover was supposed to be almost 17 hours, and now we're down to 12 just due to delays and stuff. But we're not gonna let that ruin our mood, because tomorrow I'm gonna try to at least go to the pool, because why not we didn't come all this way, honey, to not have a little dip. Cool. And also I can show you guys the grounds in the daytime because we are in like a jungle. It's so plush and green and gorgeous. And um, yeah, I just need this. I need it so bad. Good morning. Buenos dias. Bienvenido a Costa Rica. Oh my goodness. You guys, it's 8 a.m. And I've been up on and off since about 6.30 because... I'm just so happy to be here and the sun's out and like, why sleep? I can sleep when I get home. So we're up and at it. And when I opened my blinds last night, I saw that we are across from a grocery store. And so we're definitely gonna have to hit that up before we leave because I just crave fresh fruit. And I just feel like food in countries like Costa Rica are a lot more healthy and natural. And so we're definitely gonna go by there but this morning i think i want to go for a swim i brought two little bikinis but this blue one has been calling my name so i think we're gonna put that on um i don't know if i want to swim from 8 to 10 a.m but i do want to just get out and get some fresh air so we're gonna go ahead and pack a little bag, put on our bathing suit, and at least get out for a walk, honey. Y'all know I've been compl not complaining. What kind of dear? You were kind of complaining about not getting any international. And if you guys aren't aware, airlines, like major airlines, they don't consider Central America really like international. Um, like, don't get me wrong, it is, but in terms of like, legalities and stuff it's considered a domestic trip i think we get a little extra per diem but i'm not entirely sure i'll have to look at my paycheck but either way we're in costa rica and your girl is excited there's not a lot i can do because obviously i'm only 
um, up for four hours before actually I only have about three hours to hang out because by 11 I need to start getting dressed for the van at 12 but I don't have a lot to do but I will leave some recommendations of things to do in San Jose in the comments and if not I'll talk about them a little later in this video I'm so excited let's get dressed and this is why I can't beat the allegations that I'm a grown woman and people keep thinking I'm a baby because why do I look like I'm 13 okay let me not say I'm 13. I look 13. <laughs> people be crazy on the internet, like, girl, you look 45. I, I think I look kind of young for my age, but you know what? I don't care if I looked my age. I'm cool with where I'm at. I, I, I'm comfortable in my skin, okay? Anyway, I'm listening to this song called Say Less. My friend Ty, his name on um, his stage name, if you will, is Winder, and he has a cute little song. I've always wished I could sing, y'all. If you ever wanted to know why dear is sad sometimes, it's because God didn't give me the ability to sing. <laughs> I was just kidding, y'all. Okay, it's 8.09. Let's get outside, shall we? Let's go. You guys, we're outside. It is so gorgeous. Look at this. I love when nature, I love when nature is intertwined into like the infrastructure of buildings. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, so let's go explore, shall we? <laughs> is this bamboo? So pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at the lobby, y'all. The hanging plants. Gorgeous. Just take y'all on a little tour. Mind you, I have to be down here in like two and a half hours. But this is so cute. All right, guys. It's getting so dark down here, but buenos dias. I love friendly, bubbly people. I love hospitable people. Okay, we're on a little sweet fast, huh? Okay, so I was asking the concierge, I meant to show you guys, but about this place called um, Hacienda La Chimba, and they said it's only 25 to 30 minutes drive from here, probably depending on the traffic. But if I wanted to do the hike to that little hand, it would only be like 20 minutes. And I could take photos, but they also do a coffee tour and um, they do like zip lining and stuff. So if you're ever in San Jose, look up Hacienda La Chimba. And um, yeah, that'd be something to do. Also, they said they are close to like the volcanoes. This is more of the jungle side. Or I keep saying jungle, the more nature side um, in terms of like greenery. And then I think Liberia is more like the beach, you know, the beach towns. So I ended up coming down to the pool and um, they're also still serving breakfast, but I just am not hungry quite yet. Oh, they also have a casino. Mm -hmm. Ah, they got a little bar down there, a waterfall, the trees. <laughs> yeah. It's so cute. I want to go down. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Y'all are a bunch of people watching me behind the vlog, but I don't even care. <laughs> Look at this. 
Oh, that is so cute. Oh, this is a kiddie pool. A hot tub. This little property is just too cute. Outdoor showers. Wow. I want to get in, but I'm nervous. It's too chilly. Let me go dip a toe and see what's happening. You know what I could do? We could go to the store, get us some snacks and some drinks, and then we could come sit out here and read a book. I mean, that sounds like a good plan. And I mean, I still got a bikini. I wanna get in the pool. If I wanna thug it out, I can, but you know, we don't have to. <laughs> we can just enjoy this weather. So let's go because actually it's only 8.30, child. I'm in no rush, but I do wanna just Get set up. So let's go get some snacks and then we'll be back. Gracias. God, one thing about me, <laughs> I'm going a little exploring. Oh, so pretty. So much greenery. Okay, there's no, no walkway. Oh, you can also see the mountains. Y'all see them back there? As a girl from Arizona, we're a mountain type of gal, you know? Uh, not me on and off the glasses, y'all. We're going to the store. I want some jugo y frutas y, como se dice, snacks. I don't know how to say snacks, y'all. We want some of those. Oh, they got a little pharmacy. I'm just looking at the mountains, but I feel like the camera doesn't do justice. I just feel like food is so much fresher sometimes in other countries than America. So I'm excited to go in here. See what they got. Oh, it already smells like a pan, panderia. It smells like buce, candies, and sweet bread. Oh, here we are. Let's go. Mm. Yes, please. No, please. See, please. Look at this ginger. Is huge. Is that maybe what is this? Papaya or squash? You know, papaya looks. I don't know, chat. So, yeah. Oh, there's the papaya. Got a watermelon. This is what we came for. Fresca, what's this? Tamarindo, ooh. Do people just eat this like this? Cause I think I could. <laughs> oh, chia pudding. Uh, pudding, pudding de chia. We got options here. I thought I smelled like a panderia. The sweet bread, rice and peas, babes. Put some respect on the name. Ooh. Is there a tres leches anywhere? <gasps> oh, please. The way that I shouldn't eat dairy, but I will literally sacrifice it all for <laughs> a tres leches is crazy. I need energy teas. Who remembers views? <laughs> okay, let me look around for a bit. I'll check back in. You guys! There's music playing, but we got some snacks. And I've just got uh, some recommendations. I said to this to the gentleman, I said, Te gusta? Like asking him, does he like? He said, Me encanta. So these are like sweet plantains, which I'm pretty sure I already love. It's just a lot. But we're gonna bring those along for the flight today. I can share with my crew. Well, let's go ahead and check out, shall we? <laughs> you guys, look. Ooh. 
caramel Kit Kat. Is this good? Yes. Me gusta maracuya. 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 <laughs> Y'all got one minute of space left? Houseway. Houseway. I see y'all at the pool. <laughs> y'all. I am in heaven right now. Can I break my tripod? Look at me in this little... <laughs> but look at these. Aren't these called like peace lilies or something? I'm about to look that up because those are stunning. Isn't this just a little vibe, dear in nature? We love to see it. <laughs> Alright, girl. I went to the store. I got some snacks. I told you about the sweet plantains I'm gonna share with my crew. I got a mushroom and spinach empanada. And then I got a little pastry, the piña. Because for some reason, craving will kind of home. I also got this tropical blueberry tea, tea, for my Spanish speakers. Um, and I asked them what's this good, they said, yeah. This, I didn't even ask for a recommendation, but this is um, a fresh juice with piña, naranja. Get away from here. <laughs> oh my God, okay, so it's with piña, naranja, mango, and maracuya, which is passion fruit, so. Pineapple, orange, mango, passion fruit. And I feel like this would be a good little brekkie juice. So we're gonna have this and enjoy ourselves. The sun is peeking out, Chad. I might have to dip a toe in this uh, in this pool and push these bugs around. Mm. It has pulp, which I wasn't expecting. I got that extra tea too. Alright, taste test. Mm. That tastes pretty good. I'm in heaven. Is this my job? Is this real life? I have to drop crumbs all over myself. Who oh, even am I? God is so good. This morning I woke up thinking of that saying, deep calls out to deep. And I'm just reminded of how deep of a well I really am. Multifaceted and just like I see so much. I'm so sensitive and attuned to a lot of stuff happening in the world. Not just on like a, a physical plane, but in the spiritual realm. And so I feel and I sense so much. And I just cannot wait to connect with more people who get it. And I also feel like it's a reminder for me to channel, not channel, but like, Also a reminder of maybe for me to just pour more energy into my spiritual gifts and like remind myself that I'm not just a flight attendant. There's so much more to me. I've been missing my business while they written. If you guys don't know, I started a business during the pandemic. And that gave me so much fulfillment, so much purpose, so much joy. And I had to shut down the website because it's just too much trying to balance that and work. Um, and also just creatively I feel a block I don't really know which direction I want to go with it so instead of like watering down my brand I just felt like I should take a break and kind of strategize and figure that out or not come back I don't know start something new but I'm just being patient with myself a blueberry tea job who would have thought anywho this is a reminder 
to use your spiritual gifts. Don't forget that you have a purpose beyond just your career or your job title. And, you know, use it and lose it. That's what they say, but hopefully you never lose it. Hopefully you give yourself the grace to get back to the things that fuel your fire and make you passionate and give you a zest for life. So we are definitely gonna hold ourselves to traveling more. Maybe that will give me more creativity and excitement and just a reminder that life is worth living. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. I'm gonna chill, eat, and then maybe dip a toe in the pool. <laughs> Love you. Bye. You don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. who needs to hear this go get in some water even if you just take a little bubble bath a nice shower just cleanse your energy cleanse your aura center yourself just vibes this is just so refreshing and the water is not too hot which i love y'all can probably barely hear me i'm gonna enjoy myself we've got an hour and a half before I need to officially start getting ready. But I'll probably start, I'll probably leave here within another 30, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, Cause it's not like I can drink because we have work today. Not that I even need a drink, but an after all sprint is calling my name on my next off day for certain. So yeah, I will check in with you guys and uh, I'm just gonna enjoy this layover. all this energy I still feel peaceful and we love that for me I am about 15 minutes early for band time we're gonna go ahead and walk down because it's a little ways and you know nothing wrong with being early for a change I am excited to get home safe and sound and yeah today's just a very neutral lip combo with the curls for the girls and the blue dress. I need to back up the suitcase. I am fairly organized, but like I can bring less, oh, a lot less things on these trips for real. Because why did I bring so many clothes? I didn't have more dressing today.
For those of you who remember when I hurt my arm and I was out of work for a while, y'all, I'm so grateful that I'm doing better. As of lately though, my wrist and my arm have been just like tweaking a little bit. And so it makes me not concerned, but just like it makes me be a little bit more intentional. And next month I bid first class galley, which means I'm gonna be pulling cards all month long. But I might have to trade out of some of my trips, so we'll see. Anywho, we're off to Houston, and then Houston to Phoenix. So let's get out of here. Perfecto. Just obsessed with my little setup. Airport, and of course we're in duty free. Look at this. What is this? Oh, it's a slot. Oh my goodness. All the alcohol. I low-key want a perfume. Costa Rican coffee and chocolate. I kind of want a souvenir, but you know what? I'll be back. Look at these. Oh, that's so cute. leaving me I should probably skedaddle but there's live music Costa Rican's airport is I mean San Jose's airport is different this is so pretty so pretty and clean and modern all right y'all we're off to the gate with no goodies that's okay <laughs> we have working coffee pots on this flight Y'all, last night, we flew with zero working coffee pots. None working in the back, none working in the front. We just made it on the aircraft. We're on a 737 today with only 16 passengers up front, which is great because it makes service so much easier. Even though I don't mind 20, it's not a big deal either way, but you know. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this display. There we go. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to head off to Houston. There is weather here and weather there it started raining but captain said 326 is the flight time it might be a bit bumpy um, heading out and landing so we're going to hope for the best and we're going to board soon they're in the back being so hospitable making sure that all the catering is correct so anywho are you ready to board ready for sir you ready yes sir. is it time uh, it is is it right time home. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you guys. We Not gotta go. Guys. Thank, Thank you, baby. You. Bye. Thank All right, guys. Let's go to Houston. <laughs> Friends, uh, we've made it to America. And I want to leave already. <laughs> Just kidding. We are heading to customs because, you know, that's what you do when you come in from an international flight. It is empty here. Houston from the top guys. Anyway, we just sat on the tarmac for almost two hours waiting on a gate because Houston had severe weather, which then delayed all the aircrafts on the ground. So once we arrived, there was no room for us to get a gate. So we had to wait almost an hour and 40 minutes, I think it was. <sighs> long long day so our flight time was supposed to be 326 our flight time ended up being five hours and 25 minutes because they have to count flight time anytime the door is closed so even though we were on the ground 
that becomes flight time. Anywho, if you don't have global entry, do yourself a favor because this should be a breeze. I'm gonna check in with you guys once we get through custom and hopefully we're on our way to Phoenix, but I'll check in in a bit. Guys, we made it to the plane and we're still missing our fourth flight attendant, which means that we are rushing through customs trying to get here. I could have got some food. Should have done a lot of things. Huh? Fair enough, I wasn't running, but I was making my way here because I'm supposed to have a trip tomorrow. We're already delayed. I'm giving myself less and less time to get a good night's sleep before work tomorrow. But anyway, um, operations is a mess in Houston today. So we'll see what time we get out of here. Um, currently delayed till 9.20, but I'm sure it's gonna be a little later. It's 8.50 right now. And there has been so much chaos trying to get planes to the gates. Anyway, I'm in good spirits as long as I can get home at a decent time or I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Either one, I'll just make it, okay? So for now, I'm gonna enjoy my little plantain chips and we're gonna sit here and wait till we get our fourth or a pre-order. Only God knows my fate, y'all, but send the positive vibes. Okay? I'll check in with you guys in a bit. We made it to Phoenix. We made it to Phoenix finally. My camera's dying, but it's been a long freaking day. We came all the way from Costa Rica. I could just sleep right now here on this plane. Um, we do have this plane going right back out. We're gonna head home, so let's go. Um, hi guys, we made it home. It is 12.02 a.m. and your girl is exhausted. I cannot believe I flew all the way from Costa Rica today. I'm just coming on here basically to close out this vlog and let you guys know I made it safe. I realized that I'm gonna be basically feeling like tonight's a layover at home because I have to be up by 9 a.m. tomorrow. I have therapy at 10, but I don't have enough time to go to the grocery store and get food for my next trip, which is about to be three days. I also need to do a load of laundry to wash my, um, my <laughs> uniforms, but I'll probably do that in the morning and just do a little quick quick cycle anyway i love you guys i appreciate you and oh before i go i do want to show you guys some quick stuff that i bought on amazon i is this too much i bought some nude tights because this summer i mean black girls deserve neutral tights so i'll let you guys know how this turns out but the brand is called nubian skin and i bought them on amazon so if you guys want to see how these wear how they look on my skin i would definitely be showing them in a future video i also remembered i had these shoes in my car and how cute are these little patent Clarks? And so I'm gonna have to rotate those in the collection. And then lastly, I bought a new travel mirror for work because sometimes the hotel lighting is terrible. So I'm gonna link this stuff down below if you're ever looking for just little travel hacks. Sometimes I like to throw them in my videos here and there. I don't even have a chance to go get my nails done for this trip. I feel so unprepared, but we're going to make it work. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And be well. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.